Manufacture of sodium carbonate by Salve ammonia soda process. Sodium carbonate is the most important carbonate of metal, it is commonly known as washing soda or soda ash. It is manufactured by Salve ammonia soda process. Principle When carbon dioxide gas is bubbled through a brine solution saturated with ammonia, it results in the formation of sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate as shown in the reaction. Finally precipitated sodium bicarbonate is obtained and this precipitated sodium bicarbonate is filtered and then ignited to get sodium carbonate. Here, we can see in the reaction. Thus obtained sodium bicarbonate is converted into sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide gas, and water. Thus obtained washing soda or soda ash, or sodium carbonate, can be crystallized out, from sodium carbonate solution. Details of Salve ammonia soda process for the manufacture of sodium carbonate is shown in the figure. At first stage a saturated solution of sodium chloride is prepared which is also known brine. Brine is 28% sodium chloride solution. Then. After preparation of brine solution aminization of brine is carried out. In this stage saturated brine is allowed to flow down an ammoniating tower. This tower is fitted with mushroom shaped baffles. We can see this baffles in figure clearly and these baffles control the flow of brine and ensure the proper mixing and saturation of ammonia. Then carbonation of ammoniated brine is carried out. In the second step. Ammoniated brine is allowed to trickle down a carbonating tower known as Salve Tower. This tower is also fitted with baffle plates. Here brine is mixed with carbon dioxide gas, produced by heating limestone in a separate chamber called kill. The baffle plates ensure the flow of solution and breaks up carbon dioxide into small bubbles to produce good conditions for reaction. Then, Carbon dioxide reacts with ammonia to form ammonium carbonate. Thus obtained ammonium carbonate further reacts with carbon dioxide to form ammonium bicarbonate. This ammonium bicarbonate then reacts with sodium chloride to form sodium bicarbonate. Due to exothermic nature of reactions, solubility of sodium hydrogen carbonate increases. To counter this effect, lower part of solvate tower is cooled. Precipitate of sodium hydrogen carbonate are separated by vacuum filtration and washed to remove ammonium salts. Then, dry sodium bicarbonate is heated in rotary furnace called calc inner to give anhydrous sodium carbonate or soda ash. Carbon dioxide is recirculated to carbonation tower as shown in figure. When calcium carbonate is heated, calcium oxide is obtained along with carbon dioxide gas. The calcium oxide is treated with water to form calcium hydroxide. Thus obtained calcium hydroxide or quicklime is heated with ammonium chloride to form ammonia and calcium chloride as a byproduct. This obtained ammonia is used again in this process. Details of Salve Ammonia Soda Process This process involved following compartments. Ammonia Absorber Tower a 30% solution of brine is saturated with ammonia. Various impurities like calcium and magnesium salts present in the commercial sodium chloride precipitate out by carbon dioxide, which comes along with ammonia from the ammonia recovery plant. Here ammonia gas, water, and carbon dioxide gas reacts with each other to form ammonium carbonate and calcium chloride and magnesium chloride react with this obtained ammonium carbonate to form calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate along with ammonium chloride. The obtained ammoniated brine is filtered to remove the precipitated calcium and magnesium carbonate. Carbonation Tower It is high tower fitted with perforated plants. Ammoniated brine solution is made to trickle down from the top of the tower while carbon dioxide gas from the lime kill is admitted from the top of the tower while carbon dioxide rises through the small perforations and its interactions with ammoniated brine results in the formation of insoluble sodium hydrogen carbonate as shown in the reaction. Filtration 
the solution containing crystals of sodium hydrogen carbonate is drawn off from the base of the carbonation tower and filtered to get sodium hydrogen carbonate. Calcination The sodium hydrogen carbonate obtained from the above step is heated strongly in kiln to convert into washing soda or soda ash or sodium carbonate as shown in reaction. Ammonia Recovery Tower the filtrate after removal of sodium hydrogen carbonate contains ammonium salt such as ammonium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride. The filtrate is mixed with calcium hydroxide and is heated with steam in ammonia recovery tower. The mixture of ammonia and carbon dioxide gases is obtained which is used for saturation of brine solution while calcium chloride is obtained as a byproduct. Lime kill. Here, Limestone is heated at about 1000 degrees Celsius to obtain carbon dioxide gas and calcium oxide as shown in reaction. The carbon dioxide gas goes to the carbonation tower while calcium oxide is slaked with water in a tank known as slaker to form calcium hydroxide. Solve process cannot be employed for the manufacture of potassium carbonate because potassium bicarbonate is fairly soluble in water and hence does not precipitate easily in carbonation tower.